Welcome to Autotech Global. Today I am comparing the Scorpio N and the XUV 7 Double Scorpio N is a muscular, boxy shaped SUV with higher bonnet and upright stance. It's a most modern, futuristic, urban, high tech SUV with lower stance and aerodynamic design. Current camera is here. The double barrel headlamp with the sequential turn indicators, LED projector fog lamps, Scorpion Sting inspired LED DRLs, greater approach angle, it's a futuristic LED DRLs, LED headlamps, fog lamps are here, front camera, the approach angle is good enough for this vehicle, it's an aerodynamic SUV. A pillar is aerodynamic in design for the XUV 700 and RVMs are sleeker. In case of Scorpio N, the A pillar is almost upright in design and the size of the RVMs are much larger than the XUV 700. You can see the difference between Scorpio N and the XUV 700. In Scorpio N, the door handles are bigger in size. It's a traditional door handle. Plushed type door handles are provided for XUV 7 double Thin roof rails are provided for XUV 7 double Bigger functional roof rails are for the Scorpio N. Huge panoramic sunroof is provided for the XUV 7 double Normal sunroof for the Scorpio N. 57 litre of fuel tank capacity for the Scorpio N. 60 litre of fuel tank capacity is provided for XUV 7 double. More attractive tail lamp. Sequential turn indicators added for AX7L luxury variants. Enough gap between tyre and body for XUV 7 double. And there is a greater gap between the tyre and body for the Scorpio N. It's a stacked tail, tail lamp and the tailgate is made of steel the tailgate of the xuv 7 double is made of fiber departure angle is good for xuv 7 double and greater for scorpio n the scorpio n provides greater suspension travel for better off-roading and the scorpio n comes with the standard rear wheel drive xuv 7 double comes with Standard front wheel drive XUV 700 is a monocoque SUV and the Scorpio any ladron frame SUV. It's an 8-way electrically adjustable driver seats. Three memory options are provided for it. It's a very large dead pedal. The interior of the XUV 700 is very luxurious and this vehicle comes with ADAS and more premium features. It's a 10.25 inch instrument cluster and 10.25 inch infotainment system. That's a great thing. And uh, on top, the sunroof is a huge panoramic sunroof. Glow box of this vehicle is uh, deep enough. A lot of physical buttons are here. Uh, wireless charging pod, six speed torque converter automatic transmission. Electronic park brake, auto hold, twin cup holders, it's a rotary function. Visibility from this driving position is good enough. Food step is available. The seats are higher in position. This is the highest commanding seating position. Interior is dual tone and it's premium. Now I'm showing the glove box. It's a 8-inch infotainment system and instrument cluster. Digital display is placed in between both of the dials. It's a 6-bit torque converter automatic uh, transmission and a lot of physical buttons are provided. Uh, wireless charging pad, twin cup holders, mechanical handbrake. It's a normal sunroof. Grab handles are provided for a core driver. And the driver. This seating position is very high. It's a commanding seat seating position. And uh, legroom is a lot. Headroom is good. 
it's a widest suv from c segment to the d segment there is a lot of space to two adjustable headrest and a fixed headrest are here twin cup holders are available on central armrest rear ac1 usb type c charging socket uh, we can adjust the rear ac1 by using this rotary knob it's a one touch tumble down look at this now i am entering to the third row seats two adjustable headrests are available here and uh, legroom is less than xuv 700 uh, but uh, headroom headroom is more than xuv 700 and uh, it is enough wide the headroom is enough and uh, width is also good rear ac vents are here and small storage space usb type c charging socket it's a huge panoramic sunroof uh, led lamps are here grab handle is provided on both sides a two adjustable headrest and an uh, central armrest with two twin cup holders are there this also one touch tumble down look at this it's very easy and now i'm entering into the third row seats the xuv 700 is little longer than the scorpio n the headroom of the xuv 700 is lower than the scorpio n third row ac vents with blower adjusting knob 12 volt charging socket cup holder the tailgates are fiber let's check the boot of the scorpio n this is the available boot space here now i am going to extend the boot space by folding the third row seats you will get this much of space from bottom to top after splitting the third row seats boot space of xuv 700 while third rows are at 50 50 split and you can see the available boot space when the third rows are up mahindra announced apple carplay will be added for xuv 700 on september 5th 2022 onwards thanks for watching my video and i am also thankful to potens mahindra for providing this vehicle support me by giving like share and subscribe thank you